Let's have a talk about what we're doing on this one. Um, we had a concrete sectional garage. The biggest one we've dropped, it was nine meters long. Um, so we dropped that, customer gave it away on Facebook. So that, that's held up quite a lot actually, because the, the guy who couldn't collect it, couldn't collect it in one go. We've also dug out that patio area. It's five meters by five meters. It's approximately 500 high. Um, and we've gone down to the 200 there. So we've had digger dumper in. Got rid of concrete garage. Um, the concrete base, the original base, it was in some places it was three inches, so it's not sufficiently thick enough to build off or not commercial anyway. If you were doing it at home, that would be fine. Right, so we had a few issues. Whoever has put this base in has done the DIY job as well on some ground drainage as well. So he's got a drainage over there, which he's kindly put in the neighbor's garden to collect her rainwater as well as his. And it comes down and for some bizarre reason, it swerves through this hole there. So that was where one of our rods was going. So what we've done, we've skipped that rather than, it's only a crappy DIY drain, yeah, but we're not gonna put the rods on top of it. So we've drilled and we've resined in these rods as well with a chem fix. So literally, it's a chemical fixing. It mixes in that special nozzle there and it goes absolutely rock hard. Davey, how long before it went off? Gel time was? Uh, eight to ten eight minutes. minutes eight to ten minutes and load time was nearly two and a half hours so easy build off that tomorrow um we've used a 30 mil drill bit as well and you can see there look um you can't because somebody's filled it with muck we hit the rebar so we've had to move that one we also hit the rebar there and there as luck would have it so we've moved all three of them so in this particular instance right this base you could, if you want a concrete base, you'd have to dig all this out because it wasn't sufficiently strong enough, yeah? You'd have to restone it. If it wasn't stoned, you'd have to insulate it. Or if you're going to put insulation on top of your, your concrete. And you'd have to rebar it. A lot of work, a lot of money. Ground screws wouldn't have stood a chance on this particular job, yeah? Um, they, they'd have turned the nose up it and not done it for you. But the rod system, yet again, has come good. So you can't get them in. We've resined them in. Oh, how deep have we gone? Because the concrete was three to four inches, we've gone in three inches deep, so we've resin that in there. Tomorrow we'll wind that nut down, and that will stop any drive through. And what you've got to bear in mind is this is just the middle. <laughs> this is just the middle of the pad, so there is actually any structural weight on this pad. It's just literally to take the bounce out of the floor, because over that span the 4x2 isn't big enough. But with the joist in the middle, that is big enough. And the PAS load review, um, we, we, we had a go with it. I don't know why it's jamming, it's straight out the box. It's straight out the box, um, but it is jamming. But have a look, see what you think. Oh, Pazload PPN XI. Um, the reason why I haven't bought one previously is I've seen quite a few demonstration videos and I thought the speed of it didn't didn't actually make it worth the extra money. It's The nails are literally twice the cost of the loose twist nails that we buy, um, meaning that it's going to put twice the amount of money on the job. But the time saved, I didn't think it would be sufficient enough for it's absolutely brilliant. Downside to it is it's heavy. We, we've had a quick go on the 4 by 2 um, It fired that in really rapid. We're happy with that. But the only thing we might not be sure of is that when we're working and we're having to flip left to right, will that work for us? I don't know. Um, but I just want to show you um, the speed of it. It's, it has misfired quite a few times, though. Misfire. Misfire. I think what it does. So three full misfires there. Hopefully on the side we'll be able to show you it went faster. Misfire, 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 misfire. Oh, that one got on. Misfire, misfire. So why is it misfiring? I don't know. John Sin skip it. Um, I'm not actually sure why it is misfiring, but we'll, we'll try it on this side and let's let's see what happens. It did misfire a couple of times on the first go. John, just kick that one yeah. around a little bit to me. We're just joining these four by threes for our base. There we go. Yep. Misfire. Misfire. Didn't fire in. Didn't fire in, and I can just show you. Look, look, it's actually set on its full depth, it won't go any more than that. And it's only soft wood. Misfire. So, it, it didn't misfire at all when I first used it. I did it, Jen, one time. Yeah, well, twice maybe. Fire. Misfire. Misfire. Fire. 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 Hasn't sunk it.
misfire. So, we were going to review it and see how fantastic it is, but there you go. Um, honest review. So, Paslo Dan, because I know that you messaged and said you're on about the battery that I bought. Um, you tell me why it's misfiring, it's straight out of the box. Yeah. And we're using authenticated Paslov nails and we're using authenticated Paslov gas as well. Yeah. So you tell me why it's misfiring. That should not be doing that in softwood. I mean, what's that? Is that formal out there, John? John's look at, look at the disgust on John's face. I, I, he's not it's happy rubbish, these days, but he's absolutely it disgusted. Needs, it needs sending back and you won't get your green back. Right, so pass a lot down. Let's have your answer. <laughs> um, but that's that. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave that for a little bit. Yeah, because we need to crash on now and build this. We're like at least four days behind now, aren't we? Yeah, four days behind. So sometimes when you do something for free for somebody, it turns back and bites you, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's, that's the downside to giving stuff away free on Marketplace. Right, so that's that. Um, not going to YouTube this one because I need to crack on with it, but what I'm possibly going to do is do a free free solo build completely from scratch. Solo build with bare minimum tools. And what I'm thinking about doing is going on Marketplace and buying second-hand tools like you might do yourself um, and see how we go with them and see if we can service them and see if we can buy a load of crap. Yeah, or see if we can buy some decent stuff as well. So that's it. Keep watching. Thanks for staying. Thanks for staying what? Staying what? Thanks for... Thanks for watching and don't forget if you jump across on my raffle group there will be a free giveaway um maybe by the end of the month maybe but i need to i need a thousand followers yeah and then i'll give something away for free all right see you next time